let's take just a second to look at the graph of a function, the graph of that function's inverse, and the relationship between the two, as you can see in the coordinate plane. So let's take a function, f of x equals x squared minus 3. Now, the function is quadratic, and therefore it's not one-to-one, -one, so we're going to restrict the domain for all x that are greater than or equal to 0. So what you should see now is the graph of f of x equals x squared minus 3 for all x greater than or equal to 0. See, it's got a vertex at 0, negative 3. It opens up, but it's just the right-hand side of it since x is positive. Now, if we switch x and y and we solve for y, we end up finding that the function's inverse would be the square root of x plus 3 in parentheses for all x that are greater than or equal to negative 3. So if I put that on the graph now, you can see the two graphs, the function and the function's inverse, and how there is a symmetry across some line. It's not the x-axis or the y-axis. Now if we go back to how we found the inverse, we found the inverse by changing x and y, just switching their places and solving for y. Well, that's essentially saying that y equals x. And if you plot the line y equals x seen here, then you can see the relationship of the function and the function's inverse is symmetry across the line y equals x.